If you're facing any kind of health issues, it doesn't matter what it is, right from cold to cancer, or if you're having any sort of mental health issues like anxiety, depression, or stress, or even just bad emotions at random times and really bad emotional balance, or if you if you don't have any clarity about your life and what you're doing, then this is a sign that Devi has abandoned you. So. Why does Devi abandon people? Because they don't pay their respect to Devi. They are not following Devi Maryada. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the seven Devi Maryadas everybody needs to follow to show their respects to Devi and have her blessing in their life and lead a wonderful life filled with fun and enjoyment and relaxation and beautiful relationships and the most incredible purpose gifted to you by Devi herself. Namaste, I'm Acharya Shashank. I'm an Acharya at uh, Chamundi Gurukulam. I'm also an Acharya for the 64 day challenge. And this is the video that you need to watch to learn everything about Devi Maryada and how you can follow it. So grab a pen and paper and make notes and let's begin. The first Devi Maryada we are going to speak about is Bhumi Devi Maryada, paying our respects to Bhumi Devi. Okay, How do you do that? It's very simple, ditch your slippers, forget about them, Okay, walk barefoot as much as possible everywhere you can. I am not talking about barefoot in your homes Okay, or some concreted man-made surface. You need to walk barefoot in a natural setting like this. Like if you take a look at the ground around me, there's, it's just grass and it's just mud, you know. When you walk barefoot here, you pay your respects to Bhumi Devi and she takes away all the inflammation in your body. All the inflammation comes down, all the heat comes down, your body starts to cool, your digestive system starts to realign and uh, you just start to feel a, lo a lot of calm. You have this baseline level of calmness just by putting your bare feet on the ground and paying your respects to Bhumi Devi. Okay? And there's another aspect of Bhumi Devi Maryada that is aligning your body with the magnetic axis of the earth. Okay? How do you do this? Very simple. Just put your head to the south and your feet to the north when you're sleeping. So if you in your bedroom you gotta arrange your bed so that your head is in the south and your feet are in the north so that way you are aligned with the earth's magnetic axis and you start sleeping better you start having better dreams and you wake up with calmness and uh, this is how you pay your respect to Bhumi Devi and this is Bhumi Devi Maryada the second one is Narayani Devi Maryada where you pay your respects to Narayani Devi by drinking enough water okay and there's also a way that you can charge up this water by keeping it in a glass bottle like this. Like you can get a glass bottle, fill it up and put it in the sun. Okay, For like 10 to 15 minutes, if you charge it up, then the water is charged up by the sun. Narayani Devi would have blessed this water and when you drink it, a lot of good things happen. You, you start to get uh, hydrated on a cellular level. Dehydration is the biggest problem that people are facing and a lot of chronic diseases come up just because people don't drink enough water, okay? How much water do you need to drink? At least 4 liters every day and uh, if you drink water like this, then you're sorted. Narayani Devi's blessings will be in your life, you'll never be dehydrated again and You'll, your dry skin will start to disappear. If you have a dry scalp, that will disappear. Your hair will start to shine. Your teeth will become better. Like uh, if you're having uh, any such issues like itching all over your body, that starts to come down because all those are symptoms of dehydration. And you get these symptoms when you don't have the blessings of Narayani Devi. So follow Narayani Devi Maryada and be happy in life. It's as simple as that. Now, the third Devi that we need to pay our respects to is Annapurneshwari Devi. And uh, how do you do this? By 
eating only between sunrise and sunset okay eat only between sunrise and sunset have your first meal as soon as uh, the sunrise is happening in your locality for example over here where i stay it's at six o'clock so between six to six thirty i have my breakfast i start off with something uh, a nice fatty breakfast like a lot of butter and some eggs and that gets me going okay and that is how you end up having Annapurneshwari Devi's blessings as well. And you're supposed to fast after sunset. After the sun sets down and it's night, you're supposed to fast. No eating during the night. Okay, you can have water, but that's pretty much it. Finish your eating before sunrise. Okay, and that's Annapurneshwari Devi's Maryada. And now the fourth one is Rashmi Devi Maryada. Okay. This Rashmi Devi has to do with the light that you receive in your body and the light that you take in through your eyes. We are designed to absorb light, okay? Our body is dependent on light and you have to get a lot of sunlight, okay? So if you can, try to be as naked as possible and get the morning sunlight, the early sunrise that happens as soon as the sun comes up, that light let it fall on your body as much as direct skin as possible. If you can't be uh, fully naked, it's all right. Just wear like thin, loose cotton clothing so that the light passes through the cloth and falls on your body. Okay. To follow Rashmi Devi's Maryada, you need to see the sunrise and you need to see the sunset as well. And throughout the day, you need to get at least 10 minutes of sunlight every hour. Okay because the light changes every hour uh, depending on the position of the earth the way it receives light from the sun it changes every hour and you're supposed to get this light on your body through your eyes and everywhere on your skin if you get a nice tan like this like me you're gonna have so much energy you're gonna be just happy for no reason at all you'll just be cheerful and no one can shake you you'll be full of energy okay that's because Rashmi Devi has blessed you through her light. Alright? So that's the Rashmi Devi Smaryada. And there is a second aspect to Rashmi Devi Smaryada where you need to stay in darkness in the night. Okay? This is very important. You need to stay in the dark at night after the sun has set. Because the sun is our only source of light. Okay, treat the sun as your only source of light. Don't expose yourself to artificial lights at night. Things like your phones, your devices and uh, any ambient lights that light that is coming in through your rooms, try to block it off. Okay, I use a black chart. I, I boarded up my windows so that no light comes in. Like there's a big street light in front of my house and I don't want any of that light to come in. So I use these black chart paper, I, I boarded up the windows and it's fully dark in my room and all I see is darkness after sunset. And I know modern, modern day lifestyle has uh, made us dependent on technology. So there is a workaround for that. What you can do is use orange glasses like these, okay? These are called blue blocking um, glasses. What they do is they cut out the blue light frequency in the in the light that's coming in okay so i use this whenever uh, i have to use my phone i have to check my messages or you know uh, uh, to do something like that i use these glasses and then i look at my phone okay and i spend very less time on the phone after sunset as less time as possible i only do what's needed and I finished the bulk of my work during the day when there's enough light. When you start following this, your circadian rhythm, it resets, okay? Now, I want you to read up about circadian rhythm. Just uh, search it up on Google and read up about it. It's very important that you know this, okay? Nobody has uh, taught you this information and this is the kind of information that you need to learn in schools, but that's okay. Start now, take responsibility for your health. And if you're wondering where to get these uh, blue blocking glasses, you can, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. You can buy it there. Uh, it's the cheapest ones available on the market and it's the most effective. Okay. Like you can really 
check this out as soon as you put it on and you look at something that's emitting blue light you won't be able to see that blue color at all okay so when you follow these things you pay your respects to rashmi devi and she blesses you with amazing health and clarity of mind and thoughts and action all right moving on to the fifth one is swapneshwari devi maryam now this is something that most people struggle to do and uh, without having swapneshwari devi's grace in your life what happens is that you have disturbed sleep you have nightmares you wake up feeling like your battery is at zero okay and you just don't have clarity in your thoughts and speech and action and that's because you're not following swapneshwari devi maryada and how do you show your respect to swapneshwari devi very simple fall asleep before 10:30 if you can maximum 10:30 pm and wake up without an alarm okay because what swapneshwari devi does is she plays the dreams in your mind as you sleep and these are very important for your subconscious to grow and connect with the world this is how you learn really fast at a deep subconscious level through your dreams even though when they don't make sense it's all right swapneshwari devi has to do her job on your mind and what happens when you wake up with an alarm is you disturb devi's work and that is very disrespectful thing to do and uh, she just leaves your life and when she leaves your life you have a lot of nightmares you you feel conflicted you won't be able to make decisions you don't know what's good for you anymore and that's because you're not learning on a deep bodily subconscious level so follow swapneshwari devi maryada by uh, sleeping at around 10:30 max and wake up without an alarm if you follow all the other devi maryadas up until now swapneshwari devi maryada will be very easy for you to follow you'll automatically wake up without an alarm okay i wake up at uh, around 3:30 to 4 without an alarm and i'm just up and i feel like the energizer bunny <laughs> i feel like the duracell bunny you know full of energy and that's when i that's when i meditate in brahma muhurt i do all the meditations i do my sadhana at that time in full darkness and i'm charged up for the day and i'm ready for whatever life throws at me okay now that's swapneshwari devi maryada very important follow it and the next one is paying your respect to parvati devi and following parvati devi maryada how do you do this it's very simple you need to expose yourself to the cold right if you're living in a cold country just take out some of the layers of clothes that you have and shiver when you shiver nicely you start to generate your own internal heat and parvati devi blesses you with the ability to generate your own heat and become resistant to the weather you can also follow you also need to follow parvati devi maryada by taking a cold shower okay when you take a cold shower you shiver and you generate this heat internally and as you keep practicing it your body becomes resilient to the weather and the changes that happen and uh, uh, a note for the women over here uh, if you are a woman don't take a cold shower on your periods it's not advisable do it in your ovulation when you are uh, when you're feeling more energetic okay but the men there's no restriction on this just start off taking a cold shower and if you're watching this video in the middle of the winter season and if you feel that you can't really expose yourself to cold that much it's all right start with skin temperature water okay and then you can just switch on over to cold water and even if you're feeling sick or something like that and if you're feeling doubtful whether should i take a cold shower or not if you're having such thoughts just uh, play it safe by having skin temperature water okay or lukewarm very lukewarm water that's good enough and then when you recover you can have cold showers again but you won't be falling sick if you're having cold showers every day and coming to the last devi maryada is kali devi maryada now this is a little bit abstract because it has to do with how you uh, perceive time okay when people make 
their to-do list. They put a long list of things to do and uh, it's all over here, right? It's in front of your face. And because of this, you end up jamming time. Like if you think, for example, what you need to do is um, you need to space out the events in your day. Whatever that you're planning to do, you need to space it out. For example, I'm shooting this video right now. And after this, I'm going to send this file to the editor. And that event, it's like when I visualize it in front of me, it's like a kilometer away. So I have this much space between what I'm doing now and what I'm doing next. And the event after that is I'm going to have some food and relax. And that is like two kilometers away. It's that far away. And when I space out my events like this, I have no stress at all. I'm not jamming time. I know clearly how much is possible in one day. And I feel very happy about accomplishing all those things because Kali Devi has blessed me, okay? She has blessed me with time and space to do what I need to do, what I came here to do. And if you compress time, if you keep things in front of your face like this, if you're thinking, oh, sh oh, I need to finish this quickly, I need to finish this quickly, I need to move on, and there's like 10 other things I need to do. If you're thinking like that, then you're jamming time in a very short space in front of you. And you can't compress Kali Devi like that. She's going to stick her trishul in your back. Sorry. <laughs> She's going to stick her trishul in your backside if you compress Kali Devi like this, okay? Be respectful of Ka Kali Devi. See how expansive she is and feel it in your body. When you make your to-do list, like space it out so that the next event is like a kilometer away when you visualize it in front of you and the event after that is another kilometer away in front of you and so on. Feel this spaciousness when you plan for your day and that's how you pay your respect to Kali Devi. Okay? So when you follow the these seven Devi Maryadas, Devi will bless you and she will be in your life. And all the symptoms of uh, abandonment that you're feeling right now, like lack of health, lack of mental clarity, lack of mental health, and lack of good relationships in your life, lack of having a purpose, you know, inability to have fun in your life consistently on a daily basis or even an hourly basis, right? That all of those are symptoms of Devi leaving you, right? So you need to invite Devi back into your life by paying respect to her, by following Devi Maryada, alright? So follow these the seven Devi Maryadas. Watch this video again, make notes and do your best to follow them. As you keep practicing them, you will get better at it and your life will improve by leaps and bounds, okay? I'm not exaggerating these, uh, um, these benefits that you're going to have, okay? They're not benefits, they're blessings. You can have Devi's blessings every hour of every day. How incredible is that? Just by doing these six things. How easy is that, right? Incredible. And guess what? No matter what spiritual sadhana that you're doing, it doesn't matter how powerful it is, it doesn't matter who initiated you, whatever. It amounts to nothing if you're not following Devi Maryada, okay? Because Devi Maryada is the most basic spiritual uh, practice that you need to do. Think of it as the LKG of spiritual practices, okay? If you don't pass LKG, <laughs> then you're not going to go to the next level in your life, okay? So, even if you incorporate Devi Maryada as your only spiritual practice, you're still sorted. Your karmas will change, your actions will change. People will be happy to have you in their life. They will see you as an inspiration and they will think, man, how can I be like this person, right? Your social standing will improve just by following Devi Maryada. Your health will improve. Your mental health will improve. And you're going to have so much fun in life. You're going to have an adventure like the ones you see in movies, but even better. You'll be bored of movies because your life will be so much better just by following Devi Maryada. All right.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Share this video only after you've implemented it, okay? Because it'll make sense only after you implement it. And share this video, don't forget to share it because you shouldn't be fabulous alone in life, okay? Make everyone else around you fabulous as well. Share this video after you implement it. And if you have any questions, just leave it below. We'll uh, answer them for you. And uh, have a great day. Om Namah Shivaya.